Father, we thank you. Can we lift our hands unto the mic? It's God. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we worship you. We thank you Lord, for the salvation of our soul. It's Sister Sunday. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we magnify the holy name. Each of this, we thank you. We magnify the holy name. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. I want us to give thanks unto God for the salvation of our soul. He died and he rise home again. He's risen. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we worship you. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. Each of this, Daddy, we thank you. I want us to open our mouth for the salvation of our soul. For the gift of life, we are alive today again, not by our strength, not by our might, we are alive today just by the grace of God. Daddy, we thank you, Daddy, we worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, wonderful God, we thank you, Lord, our soul is filled with joy. Daddy, we thank you, Daddy, we worship you, Lord, we thank you all over the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, as we celebrate in you today. Daddy, we worship you, Lord, Daddy, we accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We praise you, O oh Lord, for sending your son to abide with us and with us. Yeah. That we thank you, that we worship you. In the days, we thank you, that we worship you and serve our thanks in Jesus' name. That we thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, for your mercy. We thank you, O oh Lord, for bringing us today again. That we say, that I exalt in your name in Jesus' name. That we confess our need for you, fresh and new again. We thank you, Lord, for fresh glory. We thank you, O Lord, for fresh anointing. We thank you, Lord, for fresh auction. That we thank you, Lord, as ever. Our thanks in Jesus' name. Ancient of days, we thank you, Lord, for protecting us up to this moment. That we thank you, Lord, for your protection. That we thank you, Lord, for your covering. We thank you, Lord, for your blood shed on the cross of Calvary. That we thank you, Lord. That we magnify your holy name in Jesus' name. I want us to thank God for his grace. I want us to thank God for his mercy over our lives, over our family. We are alive today again. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Daddy, we love you. Daddy, we worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. But Father, I accept our thanks and receive all the glory. Ancient of days, receive all the honor. Receive all the adoration. Daddy, we thank you, Lord. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, for dying for us. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, for your grace. Daddy, we thank you for your mercy over our families, over the church. Daddy, we worship you, Lord. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, Daddy, we invite your presence into our midst today, into this service. Daddy, come and dwell among us in Jesus' name. Daddy, we invite your presence into our midst today in Jesus' name. Daddy, come and take all the glory. Come and take all the honor. Daddy, we invite you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Dwell among us in this service today. Father, come and have your way. Father, come and have your way. Ancient of this, come and have your way into this service. Daddy, we pray that this service will not be the regular. Service that we will pray in Jesus' name, that your glory will be known in today's service in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, that you dwell among us in today's service. Let it be all of you, Father. Let it be all of you in today's service in Jesus' name. That you will pray, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, that you dwell among us in today's service. Father, come and have your way, come and have your way. That you will put our bread in on their ways unto your head, in Jesus' name. That you will pray that wherever they are, you hasten that steps up. Daddy, to their service. Daddy, we pray that you bring them here in Jesus' name. And as they come, they will meet you at the point of their needs in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, that Daddy, we pray that you send your word and your word will heal us in Jesus' name. Daddy, we pray that you use your servant in today's service in Jesus' name. Daddy, we pray that you send your word through him in Jesus' name. Daddy, we put all souls on verses that you'll be using in today's service in Jesus' name. Through power administration, through the word in Jesus' name. Daddy, we pray that your word will meet us at the point of their needs in Jesus' name. Daddy, we pray that through your word in Jesus' name, shackles will be broken in Jesus' name. People will meet the word of will meet we meet us at the point of our meeting in today's service in Jesus name. Oh, Holy Spirit, you come and have your way. That you come and have your way in today's service. That we worship you. That we adore you, Lord, in Jesus name. Can we lift our hands unto the mighty God? Can we wave our hands unto the mighty God? He's worthy of our praises. That we will love you. That we will thank you, Lord, in Jesus name. For dying for us, for our concern our sins. That we will thank you. That we will worship you, Lord, in Jesus name. We thank you, Lord, that we worship you. We magnify your name in Jesus name. Ancient of days, that we will thank you. That we will thank you, we will thank you, we worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. That we will thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. At the end of the service today, in Jesus' name. That we will have a cause to glorify the Holy Name in Jesus' name. Ancient of days, that we will thank you. We worship you, we adore you, Lord. Hallelujah.
worship.
Christ again. Um, for my hymn book, in Christ alone my hope is found.
never let go. From the Garden of Eden, just to restore man. Not allowing man to eat from the tree of life, that man may live again. And God, wrath was not satisfied. Even with the Old Testament, can we all imagine how many rams, cows, that we need to bring for redemption of our sin, even in a time like this. Until his wrath was satisfied by the shed blood of Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary, giving us redemption from sin. The debt that we hold that we cannot pay. And he has to pay the debt he did not owe. Oh, what a reckless love. Oh, what a wonderful love. Oh, 
up to bottom, not even from downward. We read here that the earth this way. Earthquake is from the under. But the invisible hand of God was above all. To tear it from top to bottom. That there be no nothing with told us from light, from understanding, from knowledge, from redemption, you know, from you know, attaining unto the heights that the Lord has attained unto us. Among us, you know, as much as this season is a season of celebration, if we continue in sin, you know, there is no righteousness in us. And that does not speak of us as children of God. Because sin does not have dominion over our body again. I want us to ask this morning in the name of Jesus. Is there anything that we, you know, we, we, we do continuously? Your own may be the way you talk. Your own may be your attitude. You know, everything. If we, if we open scriptures, we see how God looks at when we look. How God sees when we speak. I want us to ask this morning, every sin that has become part of our life, that we have become accustomed to, that has become, you know, a norm, that we no longer regard it as sin. I want us to ask on a day like this, that we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord, in the name of Jesus, we will celebrate in understanding, and that we will be done, you know, with this in our life, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Everything that is standing in our way is finished on the cross of Calvary. I want us to ask this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, that sin will no longer reign in our mortal body. We will not sin freely again. We will no longer be convenient to sin in the name of Jesus Christ. But that the life of God, because that's the gift that we can give Jesus, that we can give God in return for his shed blood, you know, to continue not to sin and live a life that gives him glory. And I pray that that the Lord will do for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Colossians 2, 14, 15. 14 to 15, Colossians 2, 14 to 15 says, Having cancelled out the certificate of death, consisting of legal demands, which were in force against us, and which were most tight to us. everything against us, certificate of death, legal demand on us, and things that were forced right to us, this certificate they are set aside and completely removed just by nailing to the cross when he had discerned the rulers and authorities those supernatural forces of evil operating against us he made a public example of them see what Jesus has done see you know the privilege we have before the father exhibiting them as captives in his triumphant procession having triumphed over them through the cross I want us to ask this morning that God will grant unto us the grace to walk in the reality of the finished work of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. He has ended our death. Our death certificate has been nailed to the cross. Every God demand has been nailed to the cross of Jesus. Jesus has left everything in the church of his body. So you are no longer captive to sickness. You are no longer captive to generational cross. You are no longer captive to anything that held you. Let us ask this morning that the grace to walk in the reality of this finished work that the Lord will grant unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, let's open to 1 John 3 1. I'll be reading the TPT translation. 1 John 3 1. See what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us that will be permitted to be named and called and counted as children of God. So we yeah, are. For this reason, the world does not know us because we did not know you. See the privilege we have to be called Jesus is the Son of God. So you are me. You are the Son of God. Daughter of the Most High. I want us to just appreciate Him for this Lord. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you all the glory. Be it our exalted. Let's go to our TPC. Our DPC for today is taken from Romans 8 11. For if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. And what are we saying to the head of our Father this morning? Let's declare that the resurrection power of God is at work in my spirit, soul and body. I have Zoe, the life of God. 
that the life of God begin to declare those things. The Bible says he, 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 he declared those things that be not as though they were. You are so of God because he has the life of God in you. Because Jesus paid the price for you to be called the sons of God. Make those declarations concerning those desires. And I know that it shall come to pass for you and me. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this privilege we have to be called the sons of God. Thank you, Lord, Father, for the death of the cross. And thank you, Father, for the resurrection power. Thank you, Lord, Father, for the reason you are the reason for the season. Lord, we pray that as we celebrate this season, we'll walk in the reality of all you have done for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we give God to TWC for the administration. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The victorious people in the house this morning give the Lord a shout of praise. So if we are around when Jesus spoke, this is how you shout. I don't understand. Give the Lord a shout of praise.
is risen in your life. Can you shout a powerful hallelujah? Can your hallelujah be more resounding?
pastor said that we have to finish the service by 11 o'clock. I was actually tempted to carry this to after service, but for the benefit of those who are online, I will want to do this. A couple of days ago, while I was praying and I was studying the scriptures, the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to certain things about the firstborn. And He said to me, Call a holy assembly. Please give me the communion. Sister, you can please make communion and give me the anointing oil. Call a holy assembly and um, call for make communion. For I don't know how many will come out. Make communion for about 20 people. No, no, the, the first ones. So make communion for about 20. If there are more than 20, we'll see. So give me the anointing oil and communion for 20 people. She said, Call for a holy assembly and a holy convocation for the firstborn. And you know, while I was preparing this, it opened my eyes to understand that when there's an error, especially from the firstborn, it could run generationally. It could run generationally. So in the season of you know common recoveries or trusting God that if there's been an error in any of the firstborn, that error will be corrected today. Amen. <laughs> So, um, permit me to just share this, then we'll call out all those who are concerned. Or maybe, um, please tell those that the, the children's church, uh, if there's, listen to the message, if there's an adult that is the first for letting, letting her come in, an adult, after we call the children, I want to, I want to share this. The children may not understand when we start to play with the children. But if there's any adult there who's the first born, let the adult come so I can, they can hear this. I found out from scriptures, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one and verse seventeen. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one. And verse 17. Give to me 21 and verse 17. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he heard. For it's the beginning of the strength, the right of the firstborn is he. There's a right of the firstborn. The firstborn has a right. The firstborn has a peculiar inheritance. The firstborn has a peculiar call and anointing and grace. The firstborn, there's something about the firstborn. I'll show, I'll still show you from pictures. So it says that that firstborn will be acknowledged as a firstborn and will be given a double portion of all that the father has. For it's the beginning of the father's strength and the right of the firstborn is his. So the firstborn is entitled to double portion of the father's inheritance and i was like okay so maybe this is the only place that this was shared but if you have your bible here go to genesis chapter 43 and Genesis 49 verse 3. genesis chapter 49 and verse 3. if you have uh amplified version i would want you to open it Genesis chapter 49 and verse 3 and the Amplified Version. If you are using a uh, U version, those of you that have phones that you have the U version, then if you look at verse 3, it says, Ruben, you are my strength, and there's a note there. Anybody with U version? Can you see the note? Tied to the patch right, which will make him a successor to the father's to the to his father as head of the family. Eldest of Jacob's twelve sons, and therefore entitled to the birthright, which would make him successor to his father as head of the family or tribe, an inheritor of a double portion of his father's estate. So the firstborn is entitled to a birthright, which makes him the successor to his father as the head of the family or the head of the tribe. He becomes inheritor of the double portion in power. So the first one is a successor of the father's inheritance. He should exhibit preeminence in dignity 
and cleanness in power. NLT. Same, same Genesis 49 verse 3 in NLT. NLT says that Reuben, Reuben, you are my oldest born at the peak of my power. You were an honored leader. So the first born should be honored leader. Are you still with me? Yes, Hello, are you here? Yes, so this is what it is to be the first born. The firstborn is a successor to the father's inheritance. The firstborn is a recipient of double portion. The firstborn should have preeminence in dignity, preeminence in power, should be the first to run, the first in power, and a, an honored leader. That's the firstborn. If you are a firstborn and this is not yet manifest to you today, this morning, not tomorrow, this morning, you must settle with God. Amen. Because it's a season of uncommon recovery. Whatever has entered you from manifesting dish, 